it's that 17 year cicada so we got them all over the place so I got my little cup here I'm not going to the fly shop well, I'm gonna put real bugs in my cup and I'm gonna go over to Manitani and see if I cannot catch a fish with a live cicada I have a fly rod too I got some cicada patterns but I think I'm gonna chum them up with some real ones first and then have at it but these guys are all over the place there's holes in the driveway they're all on the car this morning on the tires and stuff they're all over the place all over the place all right we're gonna load some up head on out all right so I have my cup of cicadas I took a picture of a cicada next to one of the, the cicada flies I tied it's pretty good it's close now the only problem I'm gonna have is I only have small hooks should have got a bigger hook but I didn't so I got smaller hooks so I'm gonna put the cicada on a hook use the spinner rod throw it out there and see if somebody comes up to eat I'm at my favorite spot on my favorite creek and let's see what happens here so he's hooked through let's see if somebody comes up and grabs him I'm trying to stay hidden here so nobody knows I'm here so I do have a split shot on one little one just so I can help some weight with the cast I don't know if it's going to go far or if he's going to go flying off. I don't know. Uh, well, he's on the water. He ain't doing nothing. I figured his wings would flap. His wings aren't flapping. Now he's flapping. All right, I'm going to throw him over here. I just need that just a little bit. Let's see what I can do here. Maybe I can get a better cast. Go on. Nope. I'm not getting much more than 10 feet out of it. All right, I got to do a little better than that. I got a float in my bag. I might have to get a float out. That's probably what I'm gonna have to do is put a float on. I'm gonna give it another cast or two here. Maybe I can get him out there. There we go. That might even work. There he's fluttering. He's fluttering. Just a matter of somebody coming up and eating him. Well, they stop fluttering. Rises down below, and I heard a bloop across from me. Yep. Well, first cast or two with the cicada, and nothing doing. So that's not good. Let's see here. And they're just starting to hatch. I'm not even sure if any of these have hit the water yet. Probably haven't. They're just starting to hatch. Well, there's a big bloop out there. I don't think I can reach that far though. Hi, close. Oh, somebody grabbed it. I saw him. How about that? Somebody grabbed it. Oh, he's on it. There was a big fish on it. He let it go. Uh-oh. I'm going to cast back out. He was looking at it. I don't think they know what they are. Oh, I got a leaf on it, too. That didn't help me out. None. This split shot fell down. I'm sorry, Mr. Bruce Cicada, but you need to get me a fish here. Oh, yeah. All right, buddy. So we got an active guy out there. I don't know. Chasing something coming up, but we'll see if we can get me this cicada. I'm close. It's about as close as I can get. He's wiggling. And wiggling. Wiggling. I did have a fish. There we go. Got him. Oh, looks like a rock bass. That's a big honk of rock bass on a cicada. That's pretty cool stuff there, man. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That's a honk of rock. Look at the size of that rock bass. Look at the belly on him. Hey, bro. Chill out. I'll put you back. But I'll tell you right now, if I was going flathead fishing, this guy's going with me. That is flathead bait right there. All right. First fish on a cicada. I'll take it. Rock bass. Yeah, baby. A fat rock bass. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna put another cicada on.